Welcome to Heeks and Dracone here, be dragons. So, we have a new James Webb Space Telescope image here, one that shows unprecedented detail of the Milky Way and entirely new features that we've never seen before. So, taking a quick look at this image, before we get down into the article and stuff, we can uh, see a few things here. Now, the James Webb isn't infrared, so this isn't a true color image. It's been, you know, modified. The flat earthers would tell you it's all CGI. That's not the case, but color has been applied to give us a sense of what's going on. And like real images, bluer colors are going to be closer to us and redder colors are going to be further away. So looking at this, we can see that this big cloud of hydrogen right here that's all blue is closer than this big cloud of what I believe are all protostars. That's a lot further away from us. You can see that all these stars in the back are of varying distances, which is pretty cool. It gives you a really good scale of depth and stuff within the image. So let's see exactly what's going on here. The latest image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope shows a portion of the dense center of our galaxy in unprecedented detail, including never-before-seen features astronomers have yet to explain. The star-forming region named Sagittarius C is about 300 light-years from the Milky Way's central massive black hole, Sagittarius A star. There's never been any infrared data on this region with the level of resolution and sensitivity we get with Webb. So we're seeing a lot of features here for the first time. Amid the estimated 500,000 stars in the image is a cluster of protostars, stars that are still forming and gaining mass, producing outflows that glow like a bonfire in the midst of an infrared dark cloud. At the heart of this young cluster is a previously known massive protostar over 30 times the mass of our sun. The cloud the protostars are emerging from is so dense that the light from the stars behind it cannot reach Webb, making it appear less crowded when in fact it's one of the most densely packed areas of the image. Smaller infrared dark clouds dot the image, looking like holes in the star field. That's where future stars are forming. So, we have images down here. Now, each of these images has larger uh, 30 meg images, and I will put links in the description to these. But first of all, we have the, the main uh, image, which we saw at the top here. Let's take a look at this here. We can zoom this in. And this thing is pretty awesome, man. We can get in pretty deep. Now, I would suggest downloading the 30 meg image and opening it up in a good image program to really take a look at this. But this is a phenomenal image. I believe the pro star they're talking about is this right here in the middle. But, and just look at all the gas and stuff, just the way it, it's just beautiful. I also love the way, with, the, way the spars in James Webb are laid out. It creates these different shapes, especially these very star looking stars, um, you know, which look just like snowflakes almost. It's uh, really cool. And again, that's all from the way that the spars are laid out to hold up the instruments on a James Webb. So let's take a look at some of the other images here. All right, now we have an annotated version, which will show us exactly what we're looking at. So, we have here, here, yep, this is a protostar cluster. They were talking about with so many stars, you can't even see the ones behind it, where it's got, I believe, more stars in this little area than the entire image has. Then we have an infrared dark cloud, which is all of this right here. If you see, this is actually darker with less stuff in it than all of this. And it looks like there's actually a cloud here blocking that. Then we've got here this blue gas. This is all ionized hydrogen. Again, we have another dark cloud right there where the screen is at. So that is pretty cool. And then they've got needle-like structures, which is actually kind of cool. The way things kind of form and you know, different almost like filaments, the way the gas wants to connect and stuff. It's not just a big bubble of gas. It's, 
you can see it's actually got structures to it, which is just awesome. You know, this stuff just amazes me at times how how much order there is in just random stuff, you know, folding out in the galaxy. All right, and then we've got one more image here. Which is a compass image, which is going to give us just a little bit more detail here. So we can see a scale. This right here is three light years. So we're looking at one, three, twelve, eight, what, about 20, 22 light years just across roughly. That's a pretty big area. And yeah, we can see. So based on different colors here, we can see which uh, which filters are using. And then the filters, I believe, display the distance. At least that's how other images are. And we also have a compass here. Give me us directions. So this is pretty cool. Anyways, I will put the description, um, in the description, I will put a link to this image. Um, after you come here, you'll have these images here. You go ahead and click on one of them. And after you've pulled it up, if you go down a bit, you will be given the options for download. If you actually want to print one of these out, there you go. Or you can do a uh, full display. If anyone actually wants a full poster of this image and the image that I showed um, a few days ago that was a combination of the Hubble and James Webb, let me know. And I will go ahead and make a, uh, a poster in Redbubble that you guys can go ahead and buy. I think they're they're pretty cheap, they're like five or six bucks or something. I'll uh, I'll take off most of the profit and you know just make it at cost. But if anyone actually wants one of those, um, let me know and I will put one together. All right. Anyways, have a great day.